Nootropics are also known as neuroenhancers, cognitive enhancers, memory enhancers, and intelligence enhancers. They improve one or more aspects of mental function, such as working memory, attention span, problem solving, and speed of processing information. In this presentation, we'll be covering nutraceuticals, such as vitamins, minerals, and other dietary supplements. Iodine is an essential mineral. A deficiency during pregnancy is the number one preventable cause of intellectual disability in children. If their mother takes a sufficient amount of iodine during pregnancy, they will produce a child with an IQ of 20 to 30 points higher than that of the parent's IQ. The best source of iodine is sea vegetables. Omega-3 fatty acids break down into first EPA and then DHA. They are needed for the developing brain. Human brains are composed of approximately 60% fat. Omega-3s are involved in the synthesis and function of neurotransmitters. EPA and DHA originate from algae. They do not originate from fish. Fish get them from eating the algae. When you purchase a supplement of EPA and DHA from algae, the algae is grown in tanks free of pollutants and heavy metals. Fish oil may contain PCBs, dioxins, and heavy metals. One further note, wild caught salmon may contain good amounts of EPA and DHA, but farm raised salmon contains no EPA and DHA because they are not consuming algae, they are consuming grains and other foods that the fish would not normally eat in the wild. Phosphatidylserine can be purchased as an over-the-counter supplement in a health food store. In the year 2003, the Food and Drug Administration in the United States allowed the health claim, consumption of phosphatidylserine may reduce the risk of dementia and cognitive dysfunction in the elderly. Phosphatidylserine is a source of acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter needed for memory and learning. Lecithin is also a good source of acetylcholine. If you decide to purchase a phosphatidylserine supplement, note that unless you get a vegetarian source, you might be getting a phosphatidylserine supplement that is extracted from cow brains. This study shows that phosphatidylserine is absorbed efficiently in humans and crosses the blood-brain barrier, and that it supports human cognitive functions including the formation of short-term memory, the consolidation of long-term memory, the ability to create new memories, the ability to retrieve memories, the ability to learn and recall information, the ability to focus attention and concentrate, the ability to reason and solve problems, language skills, and the ability to communicate. Ginkgo is perhaps the oldest living species of tree on the planet. According to the Commission E, which is the German equivalent of the physician's desk reference in the United States, you need to use the leaf extract and not the leaf powder. Many supplement companies are selling ground up leaf powder in capsules, which will provide no benefit. How Ginkgo works is it increases blood circulation and nutrient delivery. Ginkgo is not as strong as other nootropics, but a good addition to any supplement plan. 
Makuna, which also goes by several other names, including velvet bean, is known to have neuroprotective effects. It is a source of neurotransmitters, including serotonin, which is needed for memory and learning, and L-DOPA, which we convert into dopamine. Dopamine is depleted by stress. It has been used in India since the year 300 BC. Bacopa is my personal favorite herbal nootropic. It is known as Brahmi in India. It improves cognition, particularly speed of attention. Retention of new information is also greatly improved. How Bacopa improves memory is unclear at this time. Lion's mane is a mushroom. It has been used in traditional Chinese medicine since antiquity. Lion's mane helps to regulate blood lipids and blood glucose levels. It increases nerve growth factor secretions. Nerve growth factor is a protein that is vital to the growth and maintenance of neurons in the brain. Lion's mane contributes to long-term brain health. Vinpocetine is a semi-synthetic alkaloid isolated from the periwinkle plant. It acts as a vasodilator that enhances cerebral blood flow. However, periwinkle is poisonous and the way that it's synthetically isolated makes it not something that I would personally use but I thought it important to include it in this presentation. Huperzine A is derived from fur moss. It increases acetylcholine which is a neurotransmitter needed for memory and learning. Low levels of acetylcholine are linked to cognitive decline. Huperzine A increases acetylcholine by inhibiting the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine called acetylcholine esterase. However, acetylcholine esterase is necessary for other functions in the body and lack of it can cause side effects. For this reason, I wouldn't personally use Huperzine A, but I thought it important to include in this presentation. As noted earlier in the presentation, I recommend phosphatidylserine for increasing acetylcholine. B vitamins slow brain shrinkage in adults over 70 when they are consumed in adequate amounts. Elevated levels of a homocysteine causes brain shrinkage as well. Folate, B12, and B6 are all B vitamins that reduce homocysteine levels in the human body. I recommend using only non-synthetic B vitamins. Over 90% of quote-unquote natural vitamins in health food stores are actually synthetic. No presentation on nootropics would be complete without including the anti-nootropics. Avoid these. Flu vaccinations usually contain mercury and or aluminum, which are well-known neurotoxins. Fluoride decreases IQ. Amalgam fillings are approximately 50% mercury. I'm talking of tooth fillings. They leach mercury into the body every time we chew or drink hot beverages. Fish are known to be high in mercury. In fact, the most lethal form of mercury, which is methylmercury. Antiperspirants containing aluminum should be avoided, as should non-stick cookware, which also may leach toxins. Stress is known to inhibit cognitive functioning. Finding ways to de-stress may be a challenge for some people. I personally 
enjoy yogic type exercises. Some people meditate. Other types of exercises such as jogging or working out in a gym may de-stress you. Pets can provide unconditional love which may work to relieve stress. Other people would enjoy comedy or other forms of entertainment to de-stress. There are many ways. I suggest finding what works for you. Oxidative stress appears in our bodies when we least expect it. It is said to speed up the aging process. It is caused by reactive oxygen species, also known as free radicals. It has been shown to be involved in the development of Alzheimer's disease. It has been linked to the consumption of cooked fats such as omega-6 and arachidonic acid which is found in meat. Amp up your ability to detoxify free radicals and repair the resulting damage. Eliminating nutritional deficiencies is key. Increased consumption of antioxidants, superfoods, raw foods, dark chocolate, berries, etc. all contain large amounts of antioxidants. Astaxanthin is a supplement that crosses the blood-brain barrier and can prevent neurodegeneration that is associated with oxidative stress. In a nutshell, here are my top five. B-complex vitamins, omega-3 fatty acids, phosphatidylserine, bacopa, and ginkgo. There are many nootropics out there. You can't possibly take all of them. Why not take the ones that work the best for you?